Here's our full review of the Grand at the Moon Palace in Cancun, Mexico. We've actually been there twice. So the fact that we've gone back to this resort is an indication that it's one that we really liked. However, it does have a few flaws. So make sure you watch the entire review to see if this would be a good resort for you and your family. So here we are checking in. This is actually during our second visit, which was during COVID. And I usually don't review check-ins because there's really not much to say about it. A check-in is usually a long process. It can be frustrating, but the Grand really put some special touches on it. They bring you drinks. They really take that service to the next level with your check-in. So I definitely thought it was worth saying something. However, just a caution at this resort, they will continue to try to sell you with everything, timeshares, excursions. We experienced this during our first visit and even more during our second visit. So if that's something that you really do not like, then I would say stop and look for a different resort. It didn't deter us from going back, but it's something definitely to note. I'm giving the rooms an eight out of 10. Even though they were beautiful, I loved um, the double sinks and the bathrooms and they were so clean and the service was amazing. They cleaned it every day. They stocked it with whatever you wanted. And in fact, it was stocked better than any other room I've been to with an all-inclusive resort. It had a little bar in it. It had a fridge that was con constantly stocked. And it had 24 hour room service and the food was so good and the service was pretty good as well. The biggest issue was the safety in their room and I'm thinking in, particularly, in particular for families with small children. The floors are very, very slippery. My kids were older, so thankfully it was not an issue, but I could see if you had little kids, you could constantly be stressed seeing if they would fall down. In fact, I met a family that said they had to line the entire floor with uh, towels so that they wouldn't fall. The other thing is it had a little step down um, in the room as well that led to the bathroom. So again, if you had little kids, I could see this being just a constant source of stress, or even if you were out drinking too much, or even if you didn't drink, if it was dark, you could fall. So that is the only reason why we're giving the rooms an eight out of 10. So I'm giving the beach a three out of 10. So if you are a beach person, this is not the resort for you. I am usually a beach person. That's what I want in a resort, but my kids don't care so much, which is why I came back to this resort twice with them. So keep watching this review to see some of the amazing things that this resort still has to offer. But in terms of the beach, the water is just not swimmable. It is covered in seaweed. And I went there in 2019 and 2020 and the conditions were the same. They say it's just something that Cancun, this area of Cancun is experiencing right now and they can't do anything about it. Um, you can sit on the beach, you can walk along it, but sometimes even the smell was just too much. So something to consider um, when you're looking at this resort. Now the pools are a 10 out of 10. So if you are a pool person and a pool family, this is the resort for you. The Grand itself has nine pools and a huge water park. And then you have access to the two resorts next door, the Nazuic and the Sunrise. So I definitely recommend booking at the Grand um, rather than just the Moon because you have the access to all of the resorts. If you book at just the Moon, you don't have access to the Grand and you have to pay $100 a day. Um, and that would be to access the water park as well. But there is a pool for everything and everybody. There's adults only pools. There are activity pools, there's wellness pools, and they have servers and you can get food there. So I definitely recommend this resort if you really love pools. So now it's time for some food and drinks, which I'm giving a 10 out of 10. And it's really one of the best all-inclusive resorts I've been to when it comes to food. And it's what this resort is really known for. And it's what got us to come back a second time. Again, stay at the Grand because you have access to not only the restaurants at the Grand, which really are the best, but also to the other resorts at the Sunrise and Nuzuic. Honestly, we didn't even really get over there because we only stayed for three nights and the restaurants at the Grand were so amazing. We loved the Italian, the steakhouse, the sushi was really good. 
And they had not only a buffet for breakfast, some really good a la carte options for breakfast as well. And just everywhere you went, there was an option to eat and drink, which especially if you're traveling with kids is a must. You also get that 24 hour room service, which my, my kids loved and the food was really good. Two of my favorite things, one was the 24 hour cafe. They had homemade ice cream, homemade chocolates, amazing coffee. The second time we went, the service was really, really slow, but understandable with COVID, there was a lot going on, especially with the hurricanes and closures and things like that. And then the second time we found this amazing little hidden um, bar called the library. So it was some nice adults only time and they had amazing craft cocktails and just a really great vibe. So again, if you love food, um, this is definitely a resort to check out. The activities are a nine out of 10. There's so much to do at this resort. It's actually made up of three different properties, the Sunrise, the Nazuic, and the Grand. And we stayed at the Grand and definitely recommend spending the extra money to stay there because not only do you have access to their amazing restaurants, but all of the activities for free, like the water park and the arcade and the bowling alley. They have a great gym and they have a really fun club. And then you get free access to the other resorts and what they have to offer. And they had a really fun activities pool. They had a flow rider. They also had a club um, and an arcade. So it was nice to have access to everything. If you don't stay at the Grand, then you have to pay daily to access um, the restaurants or the water park. So it's definitely something to consider. Um, a nice, Another nice perk was the fact that we could have free access to their sister resort in downtown Cancun, which was called the Beach Palace. And so we did take advantage of that the second time we went. We got our own private transportation, but they do offer a bus from the resort. And we went down there and you have full access to um, everything there, their restaurants, their bars, and then the beach is a lot nicer. Um, it, the resort is not as nice as the Grand, but it was just nice to have um, something different to do. And also the fact that the beach is so much nicer, it was nice to have kind of a beach day as well. The reason why I'm giving the activities at the Grand a nine out of 10 is again, because of the beach. You really can't do any motorized water sports, because the conditions are that bad. And even though we tried to play around a little bit on the beach, it just wasn't conducive to that. Okay, so some final notes on the Grand at the Moon Palace in Cancun. Um, if you're a beach person or a beach family, this is not the resort for you. Uh, however, if the beach is not that important and you love pools and activities and food, definitely try this resort. I've been there twice now just because of those reasons alone. And I will go back, I will definitely go back because I know that there's so much to do there that I haven't even um, tried yet. And the other thing too is um, definitely upgrade to the Grand. I know I said that a couple times in the video, but it's worth the extra money because of all the access you get and the restaurants there are absolutely amazing. Uh, you can get annoyed by the constant timeshare sales. So a few recommendations there is just when you get there, be upfront and a little assertive and say, hey, this is going to affect the way I review this resort. I'm not interested. They will completely back off and then unplug those phones in your room. It totally works because that's a whole different um, department, the people that call your room in the morning. So it's um, just a great trip tip and it works. It is a really, really large resort, so it's something to consider if you're traveling with people that uh, might be in wheelchairs or something like that that can't get around that great. However, there's tons of golf carts and there's buses and it's you can navigate it, but it is a very large resort. It's super close to the airport as well, which if you're traveling with kids is great because you've just been on this long flight and it's only about 15, 20 minutes uh, to the resort from the airport and definitely watch our video on transportation um, in Cancun if you need some recommendations on how to get there. If you found this video helpful, please follow us, like, and subscribe to Three Days and Trace Noches while we take you on fun, um, exciting, affordable vacations and adventures that you can have in a really short amount of time.